Hey guys, welcome to section five of our six part series. In this section, we're gonna go over how you can troubleshoot your hookah in case you have any sort of performance issues. First thing to notice about any issues you might experience with your hookah is most likely it's gonna be um, an issue with one of your air seals. The first thing you should do is to make sure to check that you're properly setting up the hookah. Um, one of the most common problems is people packing their shisha tobacco down too tightly in the bowl, which restricts the amount of air that they can pull through the bowl, which then affects how freely you can pull the smoke through it. Another thing you should double check before you even bother with any of this is to make sure that you have not put too much water inside of the base. The more water that you put in the base, the harder it is to pull your smoke through, and that will be your problem. If you're sure that that's not the issue, then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna check each of the seals on the hookah. Now for a hookah that's set up for one hose, you really only have about four seals. You have the seal between the bowl and the top of the hookah, then you have the seal around the hose where the hose port is, you have your valve, and then you have the grommet that seals up between the neck of your hookah and the base of the hookah. So first thing I suggest you do is to make sure that your hose doesn't have a leak in it. In order to do that, you just wanna pull your hose out of the hookah, plug one end with your thumb, and then try to blow through this end of the hookah, or through this end of the hose. Now, this hose has no leak in it. If there was a leak, you would be able to push air through it, and that probably would mean there's some kind of hole in the hose. Um, at that point, if you could locate the hole, if it's large enough, you could cover it with um, some kind of electrical tape in order to seal it up temporarily, um, but you may just have to replace the hose. There's not a whole lot you can do with that. So I'm gonna set the hose aside, and show you how to troubleshoot the rest of your hookah. Now, the first thing I suggest doing is testing the top and working your way down. So in order to test the seal underneath the bowl, you're gonna wanna remove the whole top half of the hookah. I'm gonna seal the bowl up with the palm of my hand so that no air can get out of it, and I'm gonna blow through the bottom of the stem. There's no leak in this one, so you don't have to worry about your bowl having an issue. You can take that off, and the next thing you wanna check, um, if you did have a leak there, what you're gonna wanna do is try to figure out if it's the bowl or if it's um, a removable piece at the top of the hookah here. Sometimes these can unscrew and they'll have an O-ring at the bottom of it. So if you do feel like there's a leak, take the bowl off, plug this top piece with your finger and try blowing through it again. Now, if there's no seal or if there's no leak, then that means that the issue was with your bowl. You might wanna try replacing your grommet. If your grommet is somehow damaged, what you can do in order to get by, if you can't make it out to a store to replace it, is you could use, um, a, you could use a rubber band, which you would then tightly wrap over itself around the top of the hookah, and then take the bowl and firmly but slowly push down and twist it. This is gonna create a temporary seal that'll at least get you by for the evening or a couple of days at the most. Be sure to test it out before you try to smoke it. That's all sealed up. If you found no leaks at the top beneath the bowl, what you're next gonna wanna do is test the seal between the neck of your hookah and the base. And to do that, I like to remove the cap on the valve and take the bearing out. Set those aside. You're gonna to wanna to plug the hose port with your thumb and plug the hole for the valve with your other thumb and then you're gonna blow straight down through the top of the hookah. There's no leak on this one, but if there was, you'd be able to feel air coming out of the hookah right here and that would probably indicate that this grommet right here is not sealing properly. Now, if you have an issue with this grommet, if it's damaged somehow or it's just not working, if it's too loose, for example, you can take the grommet off and you can thicken it by taking electrical tape and wrapping it around the base of the hookah here. And basically you're gonna to wanna to do this in short increments. You don't wanna to do too much at once, but put some electrical tape on there and then see if you can stretch your grommet over the top of it. And then try to put your hookah back together. And if it feels like it's fitting tighter, then you can try blowing through it again. And you should solve your problem. If it's still leaking, take the grommet off, put more electrical tape on it, and then keep trying until it has sealed itself. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to test out is gonna be the hose adapter and the valve. 
And to do that, you're basically going to plug one of those with your finger, plug the top with your finger, and then try blowing in through the valve, for example. Again, you need to listen for air leaks. You can hear these pretty easily when you're blowing through them. You can feel the air coming out. It's not that hard, you just have to check everything. That one was working fine, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna test the hose port by plugging everything else and blowing through that one. Now this one actually has a small leak in it. I can hear air coming out of it. I can actually feel it across my face. So I'm gonna try to unscrew this, and most of them come out. There's a really good chance that any sort of leak with the hose adapter is gonna be from the O-ring on the hose, so or on the hose piece. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take that off, try to find another O-ring. Um, if you don't have one, it's usually not such a substantial leak that you won't be able to smoke the hookah. You may just have to wait until you can purchase a new O-ring. But then if you do have an extra O-ring laying around, you can put that on and then just screw this hose piece right back in there and it should work okay. If you feel like there's a leak and you haven't found it yet, it could be that the grommet inside of this hose port right here is actually not working properly either. So double check that. Sometimes they get too dry and they won't seal properly. If that's the case, if you find that this is leaking, what you're gonna wanna do is take the end of your hose and tightly wrap electrical tape around it. Again, make sure you do a little bit and then test it to see if it fits properly and then continue if it's still too loose. Um, a good way to check if that is leaking is just to put the grommet around the hose and then you're gonna insert the hose into the hose port, remove the cap for the valve because you can't plug it manually with it on. And then you're gonna wanna plug both of these somehow. You may need an extra person, an extra set of hands, or you could use tape to tape up one of the holes. But basically the idea is that you're going to try to pull air through the hose. If you've already eliminated the fact that there's no leak in the hose, there's no leak here, there's no leak on the valve, this is not leaking, and then you still have a leak afterwards, it's a really good chance that this grommet right here is not working properly and you may need to either replace it or substitute with some electrical tape temporarily. So that pretty much covers some basic problems that most people have with their hookah. Some key things to remember are to be sure that you are not packing your shisha too tightly and that you do not have too much water in the base of your hookah. Then you're gonna to wanna to go through and double check and make sure that each and every seal is working properly. And remember, in a tight spot, electrical tape is always your best friend. Stick around for our final section.